Well, my wife's morning sickness has gotten even worse. Uh, she said today was the worst day she's had ever since her pregnancy started. So I try to do as much uh, cleaning and cooking and as much activities at nighttime after everybody goes to bed just to make it a little easier for her. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and do the laundry. She said doing the laundry um, releases some smells that, that really bother her. So I try to do it after everyone's asleep. Fortunately, the house is quiet enough that the washing machine doesn't make too much noise for anybody. So here's what I got to work with. I'm gonna do a load of wash tonight, fold some laundry, got some laundry. Uh... Beauty lives in me. Kitchen's pretty clean. I'm just gonna do the finishing touches. Just gonna wash a few dishes and then empty the dishwasher. Before I fold the laundry, I'm gonna wait till the current laundry is done and I'll go ahead and fold it all up. Meanwhile, while the laundry's running, I'm gonna go run to the gym and do a quick workout. I'm at the gym right now and uh, I like working out late later at night because it's not very crowded and I don't like to work out in crowded gyms. Also allows me to spend a little more time with the family so I don't have to leave during the day to uh, work out and lead, lead the family. So it's about 10.30 at night. I only see about one or two other people in there. It's, it's a small gym, but I like the gym. And uh, let's see how my workout is. It's leg day. Well, the workout went really well. Now I'm gonna do some food prep. Our banana consumption has been going down because it's, uh, my wife is real sensitive to the smell. So we got some bananas that are about to, about to die. So I'm gonna make some banana bread for the boys. Uh, they like that. They love that for our breakfast. And also, uh, <clears throat> it's a good time to bake it. So my wife doesn't smell the bread cooking. And here's the bananas and the lemon juice and the extract. I'll go ahead and add that to the mixer. the finished batter and now it's time to stick it in the bread pan and put it in the oven. While the bread is cooking I'm going to go ahead and prepare some uh, fruit salad for the boys for their breakfast. We bought these strawberries at a street vendor just right down the street and they've been wonderful so I'm going to go ahead and prep those with some uh, blueberries. Okay, well I've got their salads prepped. Uh, Caleb's the one who loves blueberries, so I have blueberries with his. The bread is smelling great, and it's looking good. Has about another 18 minutes to cook. It's smelling great, but I do have the doors open to try to keep the, uh, the aroma down, or to try to keep the smell down for my wife. All right, now it's time to work on the laundry. Got my pile of laundry here. Got my hangers over here, and I'll be uh, catching up on the financial news over here. I've been feeling so okay, the bread looks terrific. Now it's time to let it cool. Okay, the laundry is all done. Since it's going to be a little while for the uh, bread to cool completely, I'm going to go ahead and do a little more food prep. We really like butternut squash, so uh, but the drawback is it takes a while to prep, but I'm gonna crank it out right now since I have a little extra time. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out so well, I've got the butternut squash prepped. I'll go ahead and put it in the refrigerator and cook it in the morning. Meanwhile, it's been a rough night for my wife. She's gotten sick a few times, so she hasn't uh, rested as well as we were hoping. Uh, it's pretty quiet right now, so hopefully she's sleeping right now. I try to do a little cleaning at night, just a little bit, every night, just to uh, keep the house looking clean, but I'm gonna go ahead and tune in uh, early tonight, uh, just so I don't have any chemicals smelling uh, in case she gets up again. And uh, I think I'm gonna quick, uh, and I think I'm gonna grab a quick bite to eat, and then uh, go to bed. Hopefully my wife will sleep soundly tonight. The kids are sleeping well right now. Hello everyone, long time no see. I haven't picked up my camera in like, I don't know, but things are going downhill from here and I don't know if you see my shiny face. I cannot use any lotion, so I now use Vaseline. 
and surprisingly Vaseline treats me very well um, people talk better about petroleum jelly saying it's not good for the skin it has been something that I've been using for my kids ever since they were born I never used anything else besides Vaseline and then I was like okay since it doesn't have a, an odor it doesn't smell anything I mean I use the original I was putting it on my skin and everything and as you see my skin is doing pretty well because of the Vaseline how am I doing things have gone downhill from here I'm I don't want to beat myself over it because I know it's pregnancy but I'm a little disappointed in the sense that um, I did not get sick with Michael you guys know that I was sharing my pregnancy here with for Michael I was not sharing week by week but you guys know that I was doing very well I went to my country Botswana where the main reason why we went to Botswana in the first place was that we thought that I was going to get sick so that my husband could go to work easily without having to worry about me taking care of the twins because I wanted help from my family back in Botswana so we decided to go to Botswana because we thought the pregnancy is going to be hard and the pregnancy with my car started to become so easy and with the twins my pregnancy was the hardest i'm not gonna act like it was the easiest um but this baby is doing like the twins and surprisingly it's one baby so <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's going on my body is just giving up i'm uh, uh hey baby i don't know what's going on i, I i'm surprised I've never gotten too sick with one baby. Then again, I've only had one pregnancy with one baby. So I'm not gonna act like a book. Come here, be careful. Um, so I'm here with Michael. And yeah, things have gone downhill. Um, right now I'm 10 weeks. 10 weeks, 3 days. And... Mike, come here. I some, I sometimes... Oh, yeah. Um, the other day, I just burst down crying. Because not like this fatigue makes me makes everything heavy for me like it makes my emotions very heavy um i've never had even with the trees i don't remember having extreme fatigue of course i was mikey what do you want god tell them to give you abc and phone okay Honey, he calls my husband honey. Indeed, children copy their parents. When you call your husband honey, the children are gonna call her. I mean, Michael calls my husband honey. It's so hilarious, guys. So as I was saying, was that um, the I, I, with the twins, I was having, I was throwing up all day long, but no extreme fatigue. With Michael, I was not having that. Like when I say extreme fatigue, I mean to the point. Whereby even lifting up my cow becomes difficult. And I was shocked. And I've been in bed all the time. And I was talking about how I cried the other day. Um, the, the, the extreme fatigue. And this, this, the constant spitting. And now I'm starting to have nausea again. I thought I was going to be feeling better. Yeah, it, it weighs on my spirit so much that my spirit becomes so heavy that sometimes it just helps me to just break down and cry for nothing like just because it's heavy I don't know how to explain it but maybe maybe it's the pregnancy hormones but the extreme fatigue is just it becomes heavy and I don't take any type of medication I mean, I will not. I, it's not provoked by anything. It's the hormones, and I keep. I cried the other day, but I tried to cry without my kids see me cry. And the other day, I just lost it, and my husband was just there, just to give me a massage and all the stuff. Like, it is hard. That's one thing that I can say. This is why you're gonna start see my husband more in my videos. So I said, I want to keep on the channel going, so just film. And some of you said you enjoy my husband filming. He works hard, like, um, I cannot, how can I put it? I don't want to cry. Um, I cannot smell laundry when he's doing laundry. My poor husband has to do laundry after I'm sleeping at night. Um, we cannot eat some of the foods at home because... Just cooking them is just too much. And a lot of things, one thing that I can say is that this pregnancy is rough. I was telling my husband that if it's a girl, I'll not be shocked. 
but i said if it's a boy i directly told my husband that if it's a boy i think it's, he's gonna look like him because mm, the baby that looks like me which is michael gave me an easy pregnancy so i think this one if it's a boy he's gonna have more of my husband's looks so mark me on that if this boy baby is a boy i don't think it's gonna look like me i think it's gonna look more like my husband because the one that looks like me treated me right with the pregnancy this baby is beating my butt like this baby is beating my butt like i've never experienced something i mean i have with the twins but that's understandable how can one tiny baby just make my body so heavy my spirit i oh how do i get comfort so to comfort myself i've decided to just sometimes i play bible I just play a lot of um, gospels in the Bible, the King James Bible. I'll just play a lot of Bible. Um, now also, since Bible, sometimes I want something different. I now have gone back to my Korean dramas. Um, I'm that person that is so... that When I was in university and before university, I was so obsessed with Korean dramas. And I did not watch them for a long time, but just to make myself do something that's gonna distract me from this constant tiredness, constant speeding, constant nausea, and I throw up too. Um, I watch Korean dramas and they help a lot. <laughs> Korean dramas help a lot. Let me know if you've ever watched Korean dramas. So yeah, that's what's going on guys. Um, life has been hard. As you see my hair, I cannot undo my hair. Uh, because if I do my I do my hair, that's a recipe for disaster. So I talked to my hairstylist that did this hairstyle um, the other day. I said um, I want to do my hair, but the morning sickness is kicking my butt. So hopefully in the next two with few weeks, I'll be able to undo my hair. But nine weeks was a little easier. But as it came to the tenth week. <coughs> As we came to the tenth week, my it's kicking my butt. It's hard, guys. It's harder than I thought. This that days for <laughs> not that to regret because you know what you're getting yourself into, but there are days where I'm like, what did I get myself into? Like this thoughts that you just think like is this? I mean, you know it's worth it. You know by the time you reach your ninth month and you see your bundle of joy, you're gonna forget all the pain. Sometimes I wish we only had the pain of um, labor. Um, I I don't know. I sometimes wonder like where does the morning sickness come from? How come some women never have it and some women have it so bad? Like I have a cousin that has given birth to different to two children. She never had morning sickness, and. I never had morning sickness with Michael. Of course, here and there, I would feel nausea, but that's like three times out of the whole nine months. But I, I never, with Michael, it was very different. How come some kids make you sick? And I've heard a lot of theories. People say this, people say this. Um, is your body trying to, because usually I get sick like this when my body is fighting a virus or when my body is fighting. Yeah, that's one thing that I wanted to update you guys on. And let me just say that, you know, I'm gonna be like a little scars. Oh my, but my eyes not as bad. It's gonna be like this for a while. Um, I cannot undo it. I cannot sit five hours with um, someone, a stranger, especially in a salon where some people can come to smelling differently. Yeah, but you know what? Let's forget about the negative. On the positive, I can feel the baby sometimes. I know some people say 10 weeks is too early to feel the baby. Those flutters, I feel that baby. And I get comfort for sure. Um, some people like to say, when we have morning sickness, that means we're going strong. I'm like, okay. So on the positive side, I'm thankful for my husband for sure. Um, I know I was watching this other YouTuber talking about how um, some women don't have a lot of help during these times. I don't take my husband for granted because he's now my cat my caretaker. He does most of his job and stuff like that at night and um I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that he's taking care of me and he's taking care of the children and wow. It has made me question a lot of stuff for me. Um 
I guess you guys know I was I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big I was a big in homeschooling and stuff and my husband of course does it but I don't want to put everything on my husband I ask myself so if I'm feeling this way let's say my husband was not in the picture there's no way I'll be able to homeschool kids they will have to go to school or something I cannot wake up and I just thought of women that really work hard and I'm like damn and my doctor of course has suggested some of the pills and medicine but i like to hold on off on those and call me crazy um uh, but i take a lot of advice from doctors with a grain of salt they like to say a lot of things are safe um while a lot of times it's not one size fit all and i like to really endure and see if i can do it another monster that is coming to me right now also is heartburn I'm having this extreme heartburn at night that I have to sit upright and I know that there's medicine out there that is safe safe but I want to hold off for a little bit and I'm that person I take a lot of advice from doctors especially today with a lot of grain of salt so I try to really hang in there for a while anyways guys I hope my my rumbling and my talking was not long I wanted to give you guys an update of what's really going on I know it's, it's a long talk and I know um, it shall pass this too shall pass and it's, it's what comes with the territory It's what comes with pregnancy for sure but yeah I'm in bed all the time now and when I go to the living room sometimes I get triggered by seeing something like bananas or just smelling something and sometimes even my kids smell for me and even my husband the other when he brushes his teeth I like I'm like you smell like toothpaste so toothpaste is what I use and it helps me to throw up <laughs> TMI um, my husband when he comes I'm like you smell like toothpaste eat something I want him to eat something so that the toothpaste is gone yeah this is rough if my vlogs are boring please bear with me for the next few weeks or possibly few months and I'll come back. I told my husband that I pray to God that I'll be fine in the summer because we have planned for the summer. This baby's coming in the fall, but we plan big things for the summer. Oregon is a beautiful place. We're gonna go to a lot of Oregon places, Oregon coast, just like showing you guys the beauty and also enjoying showing the kids the summer of Oregon because we want because we won't be going to Botswana. So we're gonna enjoy the summer we're also thinking of maybe like visiting florida just having a lot of fun but at this point i'm not sure but i'm praying hard if i'm still sick i'll ask my husband to just take the kids and just have fun with the kids and i'll just be here um and see what happens i hope you enjoyed that video of uh, my nighttime routine uh being married to a pregnant woman <laughs> and anyway uh if if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and uh, hopefully we'll see you again sometime take care and god bless oh what am i going to eat i think i have a bowl of granola cereal take care